and welcome back. Once again, I'm Miranda Com with your latest Newsmax Now update. A newly released memo sheds light into the killing of an alleged American terrorist. Yesterday, the federal court released a 41 page memo which justifies the drone killing of alleged American terrorist Anwar El Alaki. The memo looks at the legal framework inside the Obama administration's program surrounding targeted killings. A 2001 law passed by Congress after 9 11 gives the president power to use force against organizations that plan and commit attacks against the U.S. And according to the latest New York Times CBS poll, a majority of Americans disapprove of President Obama's foreign policy agenda. In fact, 52% of Americans say they don't like how Obama is dealing with the ongoing violence in Iraq. And across the board, 58% of Americans disapprove of Obama's foreign policy strategies. The president's overall approval rating now stands at 40%. Still, 51% of voters support his decision to send 300 military advisors to Iraq. New reports show the Department of Veterans Affairs ignored whistleblower complaints surrounding the lack of treatment veterans received at its facilities. In a six-page letter to President Obama, Carolyn Lerner, the head of the Office of Special Counsel, said the VA was aware of unsanitary medical equipment, unlawful narcotics, and elevated levels of bacteria throughout facilities across America. The letter to President Obama also reveals that one patient waited seven years for care after being admitted to the VA. The White House says it will provide the VA with more money to help resolve its backlog issues. So, and that is your